Welcome back guys to my overview slash review of the Sims 4 Outdoor Retreat. Um, so, it's time to go to Granite Falls. Now, Manny doesn't have a house, so we need to go camping. So, we just go on the phone, and we click on the car, and we go on vacation. That's what we gotta do. He's calling. We going on vacation. We going on vacation. We going, we going, we going on vacation. That's my little we going on vacation song. Um, I just made that up. So this is Granite Falls. We can pick these places. Some of them are for rent. This place is not available for rent at this time. And this place is for 397 simoleons per day. One bed, one bath. Um, this is 282 simoleons per day. One bed, one bath. This one's for like a whole household. Uh, 635 simoleons per day. Two bed, two bath. You gotta have a lot of money to be in these ones right here. And this one's 893 simoleons per day. Four bed, three bath. So yeah, you gotta have a lot of simoleons for these two here. You kinda gotta be making good money for these depending on how long you wanna stay. So this is the campground. It's 111 per day, which is a lot. I am going to individually take you guys to every single one of them, but first we will start off at this one. We're going to go here. We're going to rent it um, for what? A day. We're just going to go for a day, which is going to be 111 simoleons. So we're good. Let's, let's go there. Here we are, and we got this cool little thing here that says, vacation ending. There is one day left of this vacation to extend the trip. Choose extend vacation on the phone or computer. Let's go see what that's about. Probably here. Yep, extend vacation. So there you guys go for that. You can extend your vacation. Now, all them cool things that you can pack away to take with you, which obviously means when you come here, you're going to need a tent, and you're going to need all the things that you can pack away. You know what I'm saying? We didn't pack a tent, but like this stuff, for instance, a bed or a tent, depends on whether or not you want to sleep outside. If, you, if your Sims love the outdoor, they probably just want to sleep on this bed outside. Um, the shower and all these things you can just place around here. There's a fire, there's a grill, table, and horseshoes. They give you those essentials here. Um, and uh, let's look. Let's have a look around here. Let's let's have a look around. So it's just like the normal neighborhoods obviously i picked over here but i can still see the houses and stuff over here difference is is that there's no stopping me from you know whatever i think this is the place where you have to walk up to or some shit i'm not really sure that's a secret i don't know just got this there's this awesome little creek looking thing here i think this is a creek yep a little creek um each house looks like it has horseshoes and stuff but i'm we're gonna go tour inside each house i think that'd be a cool addition to this um, and over here, there is the same stuff. Cool little campfire with the logs to sit at. You can come over here to this awesome little, what is this, like a part of, to the ocean? Oh man, y'all gonna bring them houseboats in this one? Okay, anyways. Um, and, oh, this is cool. Just laying down there. You can go fishing here. Um, there's a path. You can go here if you want to walk. Because, you know, your sims can go anywhere. It's just not to the houses. We all know this. The entrance to the campgrounds, look at that, these cool little pictures and stuff. Um, got these laying down logs here, got the jackalope guy, and looks like this is a, oh, you can buy supplies. Wait, we're gonna go there in a second, that is cool. Uh, obviously they got their little garden stuff, uh, onions, potatoes, uh, carrots, carrots. So it's pretty much the same as the neighborhood, it's just camp wise, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is cool. There's a lot of benches and grills and trash bins and stuff like that. Um, I'm pretty sure this place is going to get really hectic once I turn off this uh, pause here. Um, but I, I want to... What is this over here? This is just the bathroom. You can take a shower for 10 simoleons. Wow, yeah, you really need to bring your own shower because that's uh, uh, ridiculous. Unless you don't have a lot of money, but you just really want to go camping. <laughs> um, so this is really cool. Uh, let's see. We're going to come over here. And we're gonna see buy some supplies. I'm gonna see what kind of supplies we can buy. Is this the front? Yeah, okay, hello. He has a deep voice, I don't know why. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We can buy a mattress we can buy the mattresses, we can buy a child violin, we can buy apples, basil, cabin in a bag, um, which are the big ones I believe. And we can buy coolers and we can buy more tents, fishing. They can buy more beds, lamps, coolers, more food, campfires. We can buy chairs and tables and stuff like that. There's categories. Uh, we got supplies. Obviously, this is camping supplies. 
got furniture, camping furniture. We got fun, you know, game table, um, and some ingredients to cook, which is really, really cool. Um, so that way, if you don't have your own stuff to pack, you can just buy it while you're here. Um, take me to lodging, explore the woods, read camping information. Let's see what that means. Oh, it's over here. Oh, okay. This is cool. It actually looks like the map. Okay. Tiny wings buzz all around this insect haven. Do you have the uh, tendency and guts to find all of the, all 21 of these creepy crawlies around Granite Falls? A new collectible? Is that what I'm hearing right now? Let's see. I don't see anything. Oh, right here, insects. Awesome. I actually like capturing fireflies and stuff in The Sims 3, so this is cool. Another collectible thing for me. That's awesome. Anything else? Nope. All right, so next we can take me to the bathroom, take me to lodging, I think is where we camp. So explore the woods. Oh, what is going on? Oh, okay. Oh, now we can go to Granite Falls Forest, the national park. This is interesting. Okay, so let's go here. So we are at Granite Falls Forest. Um, I don't know what this is all about. Okay, so it looks like there's a bathroom here um, and a shower um, and sitting area. Oh, and there's a place over here. Um, I wonder if they, there's like a secret place here, kind of like, you know, uh, there's an eagle, it looks like. There's rocks, of course. Um, we got some rocks over here. Wow, this lets you go pretty far. I'm guessing because they want you to really find these insects. You can come all the way over here. There's someone already over here. Jacqueline de la Cruz, she's an elder. That's cool, you got this little creek river type thing over here. That, this is really, pr this is beautiful, guys. Like, this is gorgeous. All right, and then you have this place over here. Oh, look, there's already insects in here. A blue morpho butterfly and a fire ant. Wow, that just tells you. Okay, what else we got? Stink bug, <laughs> uh, a mantis, so a prime mantis, a uh, monarch butterfly, and a luna moth so there you go there are oh one more a rainbow firefly there is five eight of the new type of insects we have this is a cute little cabin wow look at <laughs> that's really neat what's upstairs uh oh this is cool builders i don't know if any of you guys have this idea but there you go um <laughs> this is a neat little place so there's not really a bed or anything, so I guess this is obviously just a place to come chill. Um, maybe just have a seat. Uh, I thought I saw a cooler. Maybe if you need to have a drink or a quick meal, use the bathroom. Um, take a nap, maybe, if you travel too long. Just to chill in here. This is cool. It's kind of like a, a community lot type thing. Um, you can build on your, work, your workshop stuff. Um, there's that damn jackalope again. This is a cool little place. Um, I love this place. This is awesome. This is such a beautiful place. You know, honestly, I thought it was gonna be a little bigger, but I'm not. I'm not that disappointed. There's there's lots of insects to catch, and there's different places, and just yeah. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go back to um, our campground, and then I'm gonna take you guys to explore all the little cabins to explore. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you each cabin individually because, you know, there's there's the four and then there's the little campground, but um, no one stays here yet. So I had to come into build mode in the manage world. And so we can take a look at these little cabins and see how well the Sims team actually did. So unfortunately, I can't tab in build mode, but it's all right. Um, this looks like the master room in this big ass cabin. <laughs> uh, we'll just cut the walls. Um, this looks like it's probably like a pantry or something the walk-in area is beautiful the kitchen is beautiful i love the kitchen good job sims team the bathroom i like the bathroom um what is this little area oh okay this is where they keep uh the, the thing for the thing and you can put coats and stuff and you can put coats in here as well i guess having the walls up would would have told me that all right i like this little idea here this is really cool got a little fireplace there is no tv that is what camping's supposed to be all about. And obviously, you got some stuff in the backyard here. 
um, to sit out and camp and have a little bit of fun. And we can go upstairs and we have another room with two beds. Uh, it's nice. These are nice, decent sized rooms. Got another room with a big bed and a room for a child. Um, this looks like these are for two children and this looks like it might be for two teenagers or young adults who aren't together or something siblings or whatever and this looks like it's for a couple in the bottom one obviously the I it's the master bedroom this one's probably the master they're both masters it looks like so that's cool the downstairs one looks like it's for the parents you know what I'm saying this one looks like for like maybe two young adult kids of the parents who you know uh are together not both kids they're not the both kids just a kid in law you know what I'm saying uh, but this is really cool I really enjoy this this is a really nice area here I love this I love this this is just perfect this is be no wonder why it's so much money you can literally have one two three four five six seven eight people here eight people um, because if you think two in the big beds if not then maybe six um, but wow that no wonder why it's almost a thousand simoleons per day next we're gonna come over to this house so i'll show you guys that in a second so here we are at the next cabin uh still a little pricey it's the second highest priced one obviously but uh not as pricey as the other one <laughs> this one actually has a little tv has its walk-in area there is no door that is something i love this kitchen it's very cute I, yeah, I really like this kitchen. And you got the little bathroom here. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Little dining area. This is pretty. Not as pretty as the more expensive one, obviously, but it's still nice. It still got the same essential things. Um, and upstairs we go. Up, there's, no, you just come upstairs. And um, I love this, though. I love this, how it's open. So basically, the kids are up here. They can't get in trouble and because the parents can hear everything and there's a bathroom up here as well and there's that and then there's this little deck over here which is cool uh, I believe this is a game table nope maybe it's not I'm not sure um, let's see it is a game table this is a cool little house I love this I love the design of being able to look downstairs I'm like mom is it dinner time yet <laughs> um this is this is really cool I, I I like this one as well obviously I like the more expensive one but you know I'm not really all about that big house stuff um unless I have a big family but um I like this one as well we'll move on to the next one now this is what you get for 282 simoleons um a day you got a game table out here on the porch you got a little grill a cooler it's like a little a little cabin or a trailer. There's one bed in a bathroom. So maybe for just a couple. That's cute. Just like a couple. Um This is I like this. This is cute. I mean it obviously is for people who can't really afford afford it. I mean look at this fridge. Um <laughs> it's not the best fridge in the game. These aren't the best um cabinets or uh counters <laughs> in the game so there's this little cheap fridge up uh, fridge tv um and then but they still got the same stuff in the backyard you know uh and hey, well here's their shower uh it's not for some reason inside and they just added this on there which is cool um only one seat weird and then the back yeah it's kind of like a trailer cabin a trailer cabin except it's it actually looks like a trailer i've seen lots of trailers with this at the bottom this is cool. It's neat for someone who doesn't have a lot of simoleons. Um, 282 simoleons a day is a lot of simoleons if you're staying here for like a weekend or something. But it's not that much compared if you were at that 800 and something simoleon a day um, cabin. So uh, it's cute though. It's, it's really cute. I like it. We'll move on to the next one. This one is 397 simoleons here. Uh, you got the game table on the porch. The porch is a little bit bigger. Um, you got a seat over here just to chill and a, a bench. Um, there's actually a room this time, but again, one bed. Um, it's a big bed, so, um, couple, probably. Uh, or just one person, honestly. Uh, a little TV. Um, just this tiny kitchen. <laughs> tiny like the other one. Obviously, this isn't for people who can actually, like, afford a long, expensive trip. But they already got some postcards. Bruh. Um, a bathroom with a tub. 
I, I think this is the one that you can make with the wood shop, right? Because I'm not sure. Um, I've never used the wood shop, to be honest. The bedroom, it's cute. It uses, obviously, it uses a lot of the new stuff. Um, and then some of the stuff we already had. And this has a fire pit. And, you know, just this little chill area, a grill, a nicer grill than the cheaper one. Um, but this is what you get for uh, 397 simoleons a day. I like this one as well. But I kind of like the small coziness of the other one, even though there's no bedroom. But if it's just a couple, why do you really need a bedroom, you know what I mean? Um, I like this one too, um, out of the two. But I, I like the smaller one better for some reason. It's just really cozy and a couple could have like a really romantic, cute getaway there. I know it's like cheap stuff in the kitchen, but that doesn't matter if you're with the person you love, you know what I'm saying? Um, or if you're just by yourself too, that works. But I'm just thinking as these two cabins as like for couples, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, I love the cabins and we're going to do a complete review overview of this in just one second. All right guys. So I just want to do like a quick overview slash review for people who are, haven't spent the money yet. The $20 it is for this game pack. Now I know when a lot of people found out that it's not a stuff pack and it's not an like expansion pack and it's $20, I don't think they're going to have stuff packs because that means it'd be under $20. And EA is too greedy for that. But um, $20 for this, is it worth it? It's probably like your main question. Like, Jay, is it worth it? It is worth it to me. To me, it is worth it. I mean, did you guys see all the clothes and items that we get in the last two videos? I did all the items and the clothes and all that stuff. That is a lot, a lot of stuff. Honestly, it's like an expansion pack worth of stuff. Now, no, it doesn't have the expansion pack extensions in the game. Just some camping, which is not really that many extensions, honestly. Like, uh, Generation said, you know, adds all the stuff for the teenagers to learn how to drive, going to the dance or prom or whatever, pranking people. Um, and Seasons, you know, you got all the different festivals. No, it doesn't have that type of stuff, obviously. It's a game pack. They didn't say it's an expansion pack. It's just something that they wanted to add to the game. So, yes, to me... It is worth $20. Uh, it was a really, I was a little scared I was going to regret it because they didn't even say it was coming out today. They just said it was coming out this week. I was just like, whoa. So I was a little scared about it. But I do not regret spending $20 on this. It seems like there's so much to do camping wise. I mean, not a lot, a lot. You know what I mean? There's not a lot to do. But, like, to explore this whole place and find all the insects and stuff you can find. And then, you know, once you get some money, maybe you won't have to stay here unless your Sims already have money. You're just going to jump into it with a household that has a lot of money. Um, but they can stay here at first and experience the whole staying in a tent or just sleeping on a on an air mattress on the ground. And then working your way up to, you know, the cabins and then the bigger cabins and all that stuff. And going to the forest and exploring the forest and things like that. It just, it seems so fun and there's so many items like so i we've gotten expansion packs where they barely gave us any items and i think this game pack has gave has given us is about as many items as some expansion packs has for the sims 3 of course so um more than a stuff pack this is way more than a stuff pack honestly 20 dollars, i'm shocked 25 or 30 i probably would have expected for this but 20 dollars, i'm really shocked they only sold this for 20 dollars. to be honest um not that i would want them to raise the price because i really ain't got no more money but uh um it is worth the price it definitely is i think you guys should pick it up if you're into camping i'm not into camping but i still got it because i still wanted to experience it it's the sims you know what i'm saying there's a lot of new clothes there's new hairs and there's a lot of new items like i said and um i just feel like this is a, a cool new experience you can have with your this is like a family type thing which is awesome because i know a lot of us have play the game for the family factor as well um i think this would be really great for families even just staying out here and watching the stars and stuff like they show in the little clip um that just seems really amazing to me i think this is going to be so beautiful granite falls is beautiful the only downfall is i thought it was going to be a little bit bigger really all it is is a campground and four cabins and then the forest i thought it was going to be bigger and i thought they'd have it so maybe there'd be a few houses we could live in um and stay in but there's no way, I don't think anybody can afford 800 and something simoleons a day to just live. Um, and if you can, your sims are rich, which is probably true for most of you. Because, um, I mean, the thing if you think about it, a nice size house with a nice amount of things in it, my, I guess you could say, mortgage for my LP house is about 2,500 simoleons. Um, and that's a week. 
So if you're thinking about the highest cabin being 800 and something, almost 900 simoleons a day, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm not so sure I would want to do that. But hey, it's a possibility. Um, even the one that's about 600, I believe, simoleons is a possibility too, if that's what you want. But you, it sucks that you can't live here because this is a beautiful beautiful place it is really beautiful just you know like a few there's so much space they could add a few cabins up here and stuff but i guess not maybe someone eventually figure out how to add uh lots to different places so you can maybe live instead of making this a travel destination or somebody can learn how to make this a whole new world just to live in that'd be cool too but anyways besides that um i love it i think the cabins are beautiful i honestly wish they would have put more cabins so that way more people could stay here uh, than just the four, and then the people who decide to camp, uh, the four families that stay here, I mean, and then the people decide to camp in tents or whatever, I wish they would have put a few more cabins, but maybe they did that so people would actually sleep in cabins, because who knows, once you're playing your game, whatever, and then you decide to go on vacation to Granite Falls, um, these could all be filled, and you have no choice but to live in a tent, and luckily for you, there's this little place that sells tents in case you didn't buy any. I think that was a very cool feature. This little place right here is a very cool feature. I mean, I know we can all go into buy mode and buy the stuff, but I just think it's just another little cute experience where you can just click on this place and be like, hey, I need a tent. <laughs> I need food. I forgot my food. Um, can you give me some chairs? Uh, like that. I mean, it's a little small. They probably should have made it like this hole back here, obviously for supplies. But I mean, it's the Sims. You know, p things appear and disappear. So, but I just all the little things. I got so many little areas and, and, and stuff like that. You can come over here and garden if you plan on being here for a week, maybe on vacation. Um, you can, you know, play horseshoes and you can go fishing over here by this big cabin, these two big cabins over here. You can go fishing. Um, I just think it's worth it. I think you guys should get it. I would give this game pack, um, probably a nine out of 10. There were some items I didn't like, not items, there were some clothes I didn't like. I loved all the items, surprisingly. Every little thing that they put, I liked. Even all the wood stuff and the, and the, the rock stuff. I loved it all. It was all cute and it, it was a great addition for this camping, you know, game pack. Um, so I give it a nine out of 10 because like I said, I didn't like some of the, it wasn't the, there was only a few items of clothing I didn't like, but some of the shoes, I was just like, wow. Um, and that's the only reason I give it a nine out of 10, maybe even a 9.5 out of 10. Um, but that's what I rate it. I think you guys should pick it up when you can, if you can't afford it, when you can afford it, maybe, or who knows, I'm pretty sure someone like Life Simmer or someone who has the money or something is going to have a giveaway soon. So maybe enter some of those if you can. Um, I can't really speak for them. I don't really know if Life Summer's having a giveaway, but she's a very giving person, so she probably is going to do a giveaway eventually. Um, so shout out to Life Simmer. Uh, keep up with her. You should, because she could be doing a giveaway or something. Um, so that, yeah, if you can't afford it, maybe wait for a giveaway. And if you can't afford it right now, but you think you can afford it in a couple weeks, you know, it's not. it doesn't hurt to wait. You can watch other people play it. I know that sucks, but you can see what it's all about before you buy it, besides just the reviews you watch. Like, actually seeing people play here is a whole different experience. Um, but anyways, these videos have been so long. Um, I think... Uh, We'll see once they're all compressed and stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed these, this three-part little overview review. I wish I could put everything in one video, but there was not enough time in the damn day for you guys to watch an hour and a half long video of me overviewing and reviewing everything. That's ridiculous. Um, but thanks for watching. If you if you if you never watched my video before, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.